All right, to start, I'm gonna show you the materials we're gonna need. We're gonna need a knife, a marker, your hydroponic medium, which in this case is our clay pebbles. And you're gonna need some styrofoam. Any piece of styrofoam is good. Uh, it's gonna float in your tank or maybe go on the top of it, depending how you wanna do this. And we are gonna need some sponges, uh, Rockwell cubes. So, and also don't forget our uh, net pods. So if you don't, uh, a cheap way to make these net pods, if you don't wanna buy them and you have some uh, little pots for uh, plants kicking around, you can just drill some holes in it like I did here. Okay. And that's all our materials we will need. For this step, we're going to trace out our net pods onto our styrofoam because we're going to cut them out. The styrofoam is going to hold the net pods. So this one, I'll show you, I'll just do one. And then we're going to cut the circles out of our styrofoam using a sharp knife of any kind. Just be careful, you don't chop the finger off. Try to cut towards the inside of the circle. Make sure you try to cut around the inside of the circle you drew, just so the net pod will fit tighter in. Next, we gotta rinse our Rockwell cubes. So when we do this, we're gonna use distilled water only. <clears throat> Grab one bucket. You're probably gonna have to do this at least twice. Dump them like this. Do not squeeze your uh, Rockwell cubes. You don't wanna squeeze out the water. You wanna just dump them and let them soak. Trying to get off some of that dust and debris and whatnot on it. <clears throat> if you're doing a lot of Rockwell cubes at once, change the water after a few dunks with the fresh distilled water and do it again. Twice should be fine. Next, you're going to want to pick whatever seed you want to use for this. Plant our seed in the Rockwell cubes. I'm going to use green bean and this dinosaur kale. I like to just open up the hole a little bit if you have a small little pencil. Take your Rockwell cube, put them in your net pods, 
grab your seeds and plant them right in the holes. You can use smaller clay pebbles too. I just have the big ones right now. I'm gonna just top it off. I already started a, an example here of a strawberry plant that's going to veg out. Uh, that's some random um, styrofoam that I found. Alright, next we're going to take our styrofoam we cut out and put our net pods in it. I'm going to use this one. So you can either float them like this. Or what I'm going to do, which is just a little bit better, either way will work. Or you can put the star foam across your tank like this and then plant your net pods in. So you want to make sure that the water level is just touching the bottom of the net pod. To sum it up, you can leave these on a 12-12 schedule, uh, meaning keeping the lights on for 12 hours on, 12 hours off for about a couple weeks and then increase it. Or what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go right into it and keep the lights on uh, for 15 hours for vegetational growth. And then later on when the plants are developed, you can then change it to 12-12 for flowering. And uh, we will do some self-pollinating, so it fruits and all that. So stay tuned for the next video. And that's it for now, peace.